Hey guys! Alright people of Earth, we're here to do a throwback Thursday. Eternal Tears of Sorrow, Swan Saivo is the name of the song and this is a Patreon request for this picture right here. By the way, when we did the last Eternal Tears of Sorrow song, a lot of people mentioned this track in the comment section saying like we should have checked out this one. Instead. Instead, well not instead, but also. Because if there's one thing I, I get from people in the comment section when we do, uh, when we check out a song from Eternal Tears of Sorrow, is that there's no such thing as instead. There's just more yeah. to be added to the list. So I think a lot of people are going to be happy that this uh, Patreon asked us to check out this uh, video song. Are you ready for this? For this yeah. Throwback Thursday? All right. Let's do this.
Did you see the skulls? It's like she was she was uh, bringing men there, like she had. She had this. She um, was luring them with those, those with, stars. Yeah, you know, she was luring them when she looked more frumpy, and then when she has them there, she transforms herself almost like a swan, right? Like she, like when when swans are born, they're not beautiful. They tend to be actually kind of like ugly ducklings. I, I don't know. Have you ever heard this? Uh, the, when I was a kid, there was this story of the ugly duckling because he was different from the other ducks because he was a swan. So all the other ducks made fun of him that he was ugly and frumpy. And then later, as he grew up to be a swan, he was the most beautiful one in the pond. You've never heard of that I've story? That, it's, it's, that it's, it's like a story, a fable, whatever. Uh, there's a lesson to be learned there, you know what I mean? So she kind of had that, that vibe. She was like the, the frumpy duckling that attracted the men to that spot, or the men in this case, to that spot. And then she transforms herself into a swan that sucks the life, the, the life out of them. And then you see all the skeletons yeah. there. Wow, really interesting. Really interesting concept. Uh, uh, I so, only got that. I was wondering what was leading him, like the, this. He looked like Sami Zayn, like before the pandemic, before his hair went well, he wild. Looked, he looked like a, just a soldier. Like he, he was a soldier. He was a soldier just following Tinkerbell, and Tinkerbell did not take him to a very good place. No, it didn't sprinkle him with the uh, fairy dust. No, no, it took his soul he away. Turned, she turned him into fairy dust. Yeah. Over time, he's going to... Well, over, over time, he's going to turn into fairy exactly. dust. So, th that's, I think, the concept, the story behind it, which I think it's really interesting. I, I really like that. It was really well done, because it's easy to... kind of, you, you don't necessarily understand exactly what's happening until you get to the end of the video. Then when you get to the end of the video, you kind of get an idea for, for what the story is all about. So, I really enjoyed that. Uh, l let me say a couple of things, and, and let me get your feedback on this. I don't think I've ever seen a keyboard player headbang as vigorous as this dude. Yeah, I, I've never seen that. Like, usually it's the drummer or even the guitar players or sometimes... Or the bass players like just... Or the bass players just vibing. Or the, the singer, whoever. Never, whoever. The, never the, the keyboard player. Like I've seen the keyboard player like headbang, like like bounce, like Maybe headbang. some windmills here and there. Not consistently like well, this. Not like this. This is... This, this was at a whole new level. Yeah. I, I, I think he pre-recorded the track... So in case he would miss a key here and there, and then he just went to town. Yeah, it was like he was using his hair as a as a duster, like removing the dust from the keyboard. Incredible! Every time the video went to him, I got more hyped. I got hyped. And I saw it in you too. I got gonna, hyped every single time. You get more hyped when you see how, it. How can you not get hyped? The dude is like like incredible. So I I thought that was just. I love I love that that aspect, uh, that visual aspect. You you don't get that from just listening to the song. Outside of, I, I think outside of the video, uh, in terms of the visual, is there anything else visually that was impactful for you uh, well, before we get into the song? For me, visually, it was kind of weird because the the shots of the band, you could tell it's a throwback. Um, but then the shots of the actual, like, the video... I think it's, it's like eight years old, nine years old, yeah, something like that. But you can tell it's kind of from that from that while ago. Because but, they all had long hair. Are, no, are you going to go down this road again? It's because of the way the, the, the video looks. The video looks like... Dated. It, it looks dated, but not too dated. Just like early 2000s. Uh, slightly dated. Slightly dated, yeah. But the actual footage of the like, the woman and her switching into that that uh, the swan and him walking around the forest. Those did not look dated. It looked kind of like brand new kind of thing. To me, at least. It didn't look the, like... The technology has been around for a long time. I know. We're, we're not talking about a silent movie from the from the forties here. But like, it was weird because you, I could tell right away that it was throwback, like when it showed the band and everyone there. But when it went to them, you could probably just put that on its own and show me just those clips, and I wouldn't know that it was from a couple of years ago. It's not a couple of years. I think it's around eight eight years eight uh, years old. So well, a definitely couple, a throw. A couple of years ago. Come on. A couple is two. That's uh, eight. Is like four couples. That, that, that's like a swingers party. That is a swingers party. That's a swingers a party. Date right there. I mean, like four or four couples, that's a swingers party. Uh, so going away from the visuals, getting into the song, now I understand why people in the comment section of the previous uh, Eternal Tears of Sorrow videos that we've done ask for this song. I, I Personally, maybe because this is the first time we do one of their songs with a music video. All the previous times that we've done one of their songs was just an audio track. Not that it matters. But let's face the facts. The music video kind of adds a little bit of an extra spice. Seeing the dude on the keyboards oh, is going to make this video super rememberable. I, I'm, I'm never going to forget this song. Every time I hear this song, now I'm going to think of him on the keyboards. So regardless of what people say, a, a, a nice, well-done video goes a long way. That's yeah. why they exist. You know, that's why uh, 
uh, MTV and all of those things were really popular back in the day before they start showing reality shows. So let me just say this. This is my favorite one that we've done from the band so far. It's the one that, it, from to me, it's it 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 comes closer to home. I, I say this is like four Yari Elite Manans out of five. Ooh, four out of five. Four out of five. Okay. During his time at Ajax, so like in his prime. In his prime. prime icon. Okay, I'd put, I would give it around, uh, four Yari Elite Manans, but I would put in a, a Puki, a Timu Puki, and a Herdeki. Boom. Just throw them in. So it's like that's what, like four and a half. Yeah, kind of. Four and a half. Oh, okay. So you're giving it a higher rating than me, then. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I was I was kind of confused with your your rating is all over the place. So I was kind of confused. And with I your wanted rating. to throw out, you know you, all your knowledge that you have. <laughs> and to be honest, that's I it. Think you... that's it. No, no, no. There was the guy that there's the uh, Kamara, the guy who plays for uh, um, uh, Rangers. Rangers. Yeah. yeah, he's he's a Finnish. An Ant Man. Well. How could I forget about Ant-Man? Who's Ant-Man? He's a Finnish soccer player named Ant-Man. Really? Yeah. Wow. I had him on FIFA 20. He's going to be my superhero from now on. I know. Uh, all right. So I, I, I'm going to go with four. I think four Yari Lidman and Sinus Prime. I think that's that's a, yeah, a four, good rating. Four yeah. out of five. I think four it's a good, a good rating. I, I like this song. I like the dynamic between the clean vocals and the harsh vocals. I like the melody that the track has. It's not, it's not super heavy, but there's still like heavy undertones to the melody that it has. It's just to me, when I think of a Finnish melodic death metal, this sound, this approach, the two dynamics of the vocals, the super melancholic sound, the, the, the nature shots of the video, my God, I mean, like you can't, you can't talk about Finnish melodic death metal and without a waterfall and some snow. And some nature I, shots. I, I mean, like that's... It's built it, into the DNA. It's like it's like watching a porno movie with with no you know no uh, action shot. I, I was trying to find the right word so I wouldn't offend too many people. Like you know what I mean? Like it's yeah, you yeah. you can't. When I think of Finnish melodic death metal, you have to have it has to have at least one waterfall, scenery some scenery shots of snow and stuff like that. Not and, even snow, just like a cliff. Something. Something trees. Something. And and then you have to have this sound, this melancholic sound of nature. It feels like a cold winter breeze. So I love it. And I love the dynamic between the two vocalists. Uh, the video is not complicated. It's simple. I like the story that they told in it. But this song is my favorite one that we've done from this band so far on the channel. And I think this is the third or fourth, but definitely my favorite one. The one that feels more uh, complete. The one that, that I, I feel like it, it hits all the right spots, at least for me, in, in terms it, it, of yeah. what my expectations for, are. For me, it does that too. I feel like... I mean, this song makes me want to go hiking in Finland. I don't even like hiking, but I feel like I would if I was listening to this song and going into like the the cool coolness of Finland. Wow, really? Yeah. Camping too? Maybe a little bit of camping? Not camping. I'm not going that far. Man. Okay. Okay. You see me? Like, yeah, the song me? would have to be five Yari Lit Manans out of five for you have to, to be, do, for you to go camping. It would have to be. Like a five, maybe five and a half out of five. Like okay, you have, to, oh, break have to break the scale. You have to break the scale a little bit to, to get you camping. Exactly. All right, I'm I'm with you on but that. Hiking, hiking, I can do because at least I get to go home afterwards. You're assuming you're gonna go home afterwards. I'm assuming. <laughs> I mean, uh, don't assume because you have to take somebody with you that knows the woods. You can't just just think you. Fuck! I don't know anyone who knows the woods and. Thomas. Oh yeah, Thomas knows the woods. I mean, even if he doesn't know the woods, I'm sure he can cut the woods until he until we find. And any know, danger, civilization, any danger you know. we get into, we're perfectly You think fine. a bear is going to attack us when he's around? I don't think so. The bear is going to look at him and like, fuck that Bow shit. Bow down, no king like, bear. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not getting in there. I'm not getting involved with that guy. Look at him. He, look, he looks like he, he, looks can, like he can he, suplex me. I know. He, he looks like he's going to bitch slap me uh, all the way to my grave and then do a, get a jacket done with my skin. You know, that's what he looks like. All right. Anyways, enough of that bullshit. Uh, this was a very good request, like I said, for in my opinion, I think yours as well. Yeah. Best song that we've done from this band so far on the channel. I really enjoyed this track. Really well done. Uh, everything around it was just a lot of fun. So thank you to the Patreon that asked us to check this out. Thank you to those of you that posted in the comment section asking us to move towards this song and check it out. You guys weren't wrong. This is an incredible track. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you at the next video. Take care. See ya.